my name is Noelle Ray and I'm the owner of the Big Clock Store. We wanted to show you how to change a mechanism. We buy the best mechanisms that we can, but sometimes they get damaged in shipping. And we wanted to make it easy to show you how to change the mechanism. The first step is to take off the cap nut screw. Usually it's gold, sometimes it's silver. So it should just come off. I'm gonna hold the, this hand so it doesn't spin. I'm gonna take this hand off. Okay, this is the hour hand. I'm gonna rock it up. Okay, take off the hex nut screw. You should be able to take it off with your hands. If you need to use uh, needle nose pliers, you can do that. Take off the washer. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Show you our awesome back. The mechanism should just come out easily. This is called the mechanism shell. Leave that in there. All right, so this is how you reassemble your clock. You get your new mechanism. You put the battery at the bottom of the clock toward the six down here. I'm gonna hold it and spin it. Okay, now you're gonna put your washer back on. I'm still holding it in the back. Your hex nut. It's important that you put your hex nut on snug, but not very, very tight. Using a tool to screw it down too tight may compress the works and cause it not to function properly. You wanna make sure the oval of the hand matches up with the oval shape of the spindle. And I'm gonna raise it up to the 12 and take it off. Now I'm putting on the hour hand. I'm gonna face it the same direction to up toward the 12, and again, I'm gonna rock it down. Gently rock it down toward the face of the clock. I'm gonna put this hand back on. Hold the top. Screw this on again, not super tight, but not just snug. And then I'm gonna three times, spin it down three times to three. Make sure the hands aren't gonna touch. You can bend the hands away from each other. It's best if the hands are parallel to the face of the clock. Okay, then you can set your time. Let's say it's four o'clock. So that's how you change the mechanism with a cap nut screw. You can look at your directions. One side has the directions for cap nut screw mechanism. The other side has a, the other side has the instructions for a press on cap. So just look at this this piece of your clock and you'll be able to tell which kind of mechanism your clock has. All right. This is PS if your clock mechanism has a washer, I wanted to show you where you're gonna put it. We only put these on our largest hands. It helps stabilize the hands. You're gonna have it in your clock, of course, but you wanna make sure that your minute hand is going to face the 12. So the way you do that is, again, you take your oval part of the hand, which is the long hand, the minute hand, place it on the oval part of the mechanism Face it up to the 12. Take it off. Now you're going to press your short hand or your hour hand, again facing the 12. I'm gonna rock it down gently but firmly. Okay. Now this is where you put your washer. I'm gonna put it right over the top of the spindle like that and then I'm going to put my 
knitted hand down there, the long hand. Then I'm going to put my cap nut screw back on. how you use the washer.